Hey again y'all, this is Tyler. You guys have been asking me, just like the Rod and Reel Arsenal, to do a boat tour. And so, this is my boat here. I've nicknamed it Her Pearl because she's white. And then this is the Black Pearl back here, my Yamaha. I guess I'll get to that in a second, my, my engine. But I'm gonna take you guys on a tour through my boat, kind of how I've set it up for tournament fishing and, and fun fishing and stuff like that. So starting in the back, we have Power Pole, shallow water anchor best out there they were my first sponsor and that is because I love powerful and I love what they can do for you and on the other side we have kind of a, a homemade stakeout power pole the main engine that drives this whole thing is the Yamaha VMAX 225 I'm telling you these engines for their age are so strong this thing is 16 years old and we've rarely had any problems with it it gets me going 65 miles an hour so you know what uh, I think it's a great great engine it's a two-stroke so get that two-stroke smoke in the morning so back here in these two compartments is just the, uh, you know, gas tanks, uh, power pole, hydraulic system and stuff like that. So no reason to open those up. But in this compartment here is where I keep my food and my coolers and then some extra towels to, you know, keep stuff dry because it gets, it gets wet all, often. And here we have the two live wells. Very big, very spacious. As you can tell, I got the, the live crawfish in that side. I've held many a big bass in those live wells. And then this side here, I just kind of use for life jackets, extra clothes. When some guy has his tackle in my boat, he can put his tackle in there. So there's that. Move on to the middle section of the boat. We've got the seats open up here to reveal a little compartment that I use for, you know, stuff that you're not going to use as often. So tow cables, uh, ropes, marker buoys, the fire extinguisher, stuff like that. And I have the same, same system under this seat. Right here, I've got my... Lowrance HDS9, touch screen unit, a side scan, down scan, regular sonar. It's been great, I've loved it. Make sure you guys you know, learn how to use electronics because it'll help you so much when you're fishing. And then this side here is my port for charging. So in this USB charger here, I charge my GoPros that I put right here. And I also have a system here at the battery eliminator so I can plug in my Sony, which is recording right there, to film. Let's come up to the front of the boat. This here is what? I'm filming on all the time now. It's a great new setup. As you can see, I moved all my rods to the front so I can show you guys this. We're gonna start on this right side. I rarely open this one up, and so it's got a few extra rods that I should you know, probably take out soon. The, the throw thing that you have to have, my lights, my seat post. Uh, I put my net in here when I have a net. I just have you know a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Once I get a spare prop, maybe a spare trolling motor, stuff like that, that I'll put in there. In here, is where I keep my rods. And as you can tell, it is empty because all my rods are over there. <laughs> so that's where I keep my rods. They slide nicely in there and I can fit about 14 rods in there pretty easily. Now here's where it gets exciting, folks. Boom. So up here, I have some cool clips that I can clip, you know, the, the soft plastics that I most easily or most readily use. And I can just, you know, unclip them and get a Cinco out. Stuff like that. And then, come in here and show them this. My dad built these uh, wooden sliders that these bait boxes can easily slide in. A lot of the newer boats have this, but my boat didn't have it because it's older, and so we thought we'd make our own. And so, you know, it fits perfectly with all these boxes. I would go through my tackle, but that would take way too long. So I just kind of keep all my tackle in here. It fits nicely. And then my last compartment here in Pearl is just kind of an, an, a general usage. I keep a lot of my camera stuff in here, my swim bait box, you know, my all my bed fishing gear, my when it's bed fishing season, of course, my tournament bag, a yellow pad, all sorts of extra hooks and stuff. So anything that you might need on a daily basis when you're fishing, I keep in this compartment in here. And then of course, up in the front, I've got a Minn Kota Maxim trolling motor. Uh, I forgot if it's 100 pound, 100 pound one thrust or 40 volt, whatever the voltage is, you guys can look it up online. And then I've got a Lowrance Elite 7 chirp unit right up here. So thank you guys for watching. That was Pearl. I know you guys have asked about her so much. I love her. Um, Skeeters are great boats. If you guys haven't had a chance to ride in a Skeeter, make sure you do it. They're so fast and so reliable. So we'll see you guys next time on Tyler's Real Fishing.